like it looks kind of like a pumpkin or sweet potato pie. Uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about how it's gonna taste um, with the condensed milk and the the texture from the cornmeal. Um, it smells really good. So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're not subscribed, first thing you should do is hit the subscribe button. Um, and hit the notification bell as well so you know when I, I post a new video. Um, so I hope everyone is doing well, um, or as well as they can be. Um, today I'm going to make a cornmeal and condensed milk pie. And it's reminiscent of the chess pie, which is like an old school pie recipe from uh, down south, the American south. Um, so I'm really excited, you know, the condensed milk is going to add some really nice texture or not texture, but uh, the cornmeal is going to do that. The condensed milk is going to add like some nice sweetness um, and I'm going to use evaporated milk uh, instead of whole milk just to maybe add to the richness of like the custard uh, flavor because um, it's essentially kind of like a custard tart with some cornmeal. So. That's what we're dealing with. And today I am drinking some mead, which is like my new thing now. I, I love fermented honey. <laughs> this is my summer jam. So uh, today, this is it, Charm City. Um, I also really like Orchid Cellar, which is, uh, so this is made in Baltimore. Orchid Cellar is made in Middletown, Maryland. Um, they're both amazing. Definitely try it out this summer if you haven't already. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is handle our pie crust. So, um, you know, people have their various ways of how they roll pie crusts out, um, you know, and what they do to the edges. I am not fancy at all. <laughs> um, so just roll this out. There you go. Have a nice filling. Like I said, it's your choice what you want to do on the edges. Um, I'm okay with just kind of crimping it up just a little bit. I'm not too fussy about this at all, but it's really up to you. But you'll definitely want to either trim it or tuck it in. So once you've done this, you can take a, a fork or a knife or something and just poke some holes in the bottom. You want to make sure that you also poke the sides. Um, and make sure that you've kind of pressed down the bottom so that the filling sits comfortably. Poking the holes basically uh, makes sure that when your crust is baking, it doesn't like puff up and have like air bubbles and stuff. So it'll breathe as it bakes. So I took this out the freezer and right before I put it in, I'm going to, um, I'm going to put some rice, uncooked rice. And this will also prevent um, any kind of air pockets rising. You can use uh, dried beans or um, uh, pie weights or whatever you have to take care of that. So I'm just going to trim that and put this in the oven for 15 minutes and then set it aside to cool and then we'll add the batter. The first thing I'm going to do is whisk the eggs and the sugar. That'll kind of be the custard, uh, custard base. Got a shell in there. If you ever drop any eggshells, just scoop it out with the egg. It makes your life uh, so much easier instead of trying to pick it out with your fingers. Uh, the same goes for people who like to remove kind of those white things inside the egg. Um, I don't always do that. I do it sometimes, especially if they're kind of big and obvious, like this one. All right. 
All right, so we have four eggs, and then I'm gonna take a cup of sugar. Oh, oh actually, that's not my sugar. This is my sugar. <laughs> so pour a cup of sugar in there. And then we're going to whisk this. Make sure the eggs are beaten properly and it seems like everything's mostly mixed. After whisking the eggs and the sugar, you're going to add um, half a cup of melted butter. Uh, just try to make sure it's kind of cold slightly so it doesn't, I don't know, cook the eggs. Um, after that, um, you can add about a quarter cup of condensed, uh, milk. Ooh. I, oh my gosh, I love condensed milk. It's so dangerous to have around me because I swear I will lick this stuff. Like, I'm crazy like that. <laughs> and you can get a spoon just to make sure it all, all, uh, gets in there. Okay, and then add a quarter cup of evaporated milk and a quarter cup of milk of water. Then, oops, two teaspoons of vanilla. and half a teaspoon of almond extract. And you can whisk that, whisk that up. Oh, it smells quite lovely. All right. Once you've done that, you can add half a teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of cinnamon a tablespoon of all-purpose flour and a quarter cup of cornmeal. You can use, I'm using the white cornmeal, but you can use the yellow one as well. And you can whisk this as well to make it, to just make sure everything's incorporated. Now it might seem a bit watery, but you're gonna be, you're gonna bake this for 50 minutes. So it's gonna turn into a custard over that 50 minutes and you should be good to go. You can also add a tablespoon of vinegar. We're going to pour our batter into the pie crust. I'm so excited for this. It's going to be so good. Don't worry so much about it being so close to the edge, because it's gonna kind of sink a little bit as it bakes and sets. So it'll be fine. All right, so you're gonna bake this for 50 minutes to an hour or until it's set at least. You can keep checking it closer to the time. And um, after that, you're gonna let it sit at room temperature for about four hours and then you can refrigerate it. All right, everybody, here is the finished product. Um, I'm going to let it, uh, I guess, set for maybe uh, an hour or two more before chilling it and then um, cutting into it. 
but I just kind of wanted to show you what it looked like. It looks kind of like a pumpkin or sweet potato pie, uh, but yeah, I'm really excited about how it's gonna taste um, with the condensed milk and the, the texture from the cornmeal. Um, it smells really good, so here it is, super easy. Um, and uh, I can't wait to slice into it. 